In this lesson, we're going to be looking at set builder notation, and specifically, what do all these symbols mean anyway? We'll be taking a look at a couple different forms before we progress into set builder notation. So, as I said, before we consider set builder notation, the practicality of its use, we'll briefly discuss a couple other items which relate to sets of numbers. First, roster notation, and secondly, interval notation. Let's take a look at roster notation first. How do we list the set of billiard balls in roster notation? Here, when we think of roster, it's just the listing of all the items, uh, specifically whatever type of elements we're dealing with in our set. Uh, for our example, in the billiard balls, we have all the numbers from 1 through 15 split into um, stripes, the 8 ball, and solids, which we could further make subsets. Um, but all the, the set of numbers would be from 1 through 15. It only include natural numbers as that will be appropriate. A special note that um, this particular set is a finite set because it has a specific set of numbers in it and it ends. Uh, how about the even numbers? To list those in roster notation we could start with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. This is an example of something that is an infinite set that we can list in roster notation. It does have a set pattern, which is why we can continue this particular pattern and have an infinite set in roster notation. Well, what if we wanted to take that same set of numbers from 1 to 15, but include all the ones in between to make it an infinite set? Well, in roster notation, that would be an impossibility to list all those infinite numbers. So in this particular case, we cannot list all the values from 1 to 15 in roster notation when we consider the set of real numbers. Next, let's look at interval notation. We typically use interval notation when we have a range of values, such as all the numbers from 1 to 15 like we just discussed. The interval notation for that set of numbers would be bracket 1, 15, bracket because we get to use the number 1 and the number 15. Just a little bit more about the uh, notation. You'll see in the middle here when I use a parenthesis 1, 15, parenthesis, it looks like a set of ordered pairs, but when we talk about uh, sets of numbers, that would be all of the numbers between 1 and 15. It does not include 1. It does not include 15. Uh, the next example listed here would include 1 and exclude 15. So for our particular case, um, our solution was bracket 1, 15, bracket, to include 1 to 15. That particular interval does account for all the real numbers from 1 to 15. With our Billy Browse example, we, couldn't in, we could not put that in um, interval notation because we are splitting or missing some numbers in between 1 and 2, between 2 and 3, between 3 and 4, and so on. So we cannot list our billiard balls in interval notation, but we can list the set of all real numbers between 1 and 15. The beauty about set builder notation is that we can handle both of the previous cases where we could not write in either roster notation or an in interval notation. So let's actually take a look at a set builder notation problem. Here's what the setup looks like. You'll see there's lots of symbols there. We have a brace, we have an X, a bar, a vertical bar, uh, an inequality, and then another brace. Well, what do all these symbols mean, and what does this set represent? Well, this particular um, uh, set builder notation problem says the set of, that's where the brace comes from, all X, that's our variable we're looking at, and this vertical line actually stands for such that. We can either use a vertical line or we can use a colon. Either one, are, they're interchangeable. And then we have an inequality here, x is greater than 0. It says the set of all x's such that x is greater than 0. Or, in plain words, uh, any value greater than 0 would be that set listed there. Again, in just a couple notes, the x is just a placeholder. We could use other letters such as q, r, y, uh, and then, again, some people use a colon instead of the vertical bar, uh, so they would write uh, the set of all x colon, which means such that x is greater than 0. So let's examine the set of numbers from 1 to 15 and set build a notation. 
here's what it looked like. The set of all x such that x is b from, excuse me, x is from 1 to 15, or we can say um, 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 15, uh, whatever words you'd like to use to describe that particular case. Let's look at the uh, set of billiard balls in set builder notation. Remember, this one was a finite set, the one um, that we could not put in interval notation because we skipped numbers. Here's what it looked like. Looks very similar to the last problem, except we had to add an extra little item after our inequality. So the set of all x such that x is from 1 to 15, and we put an extra note here that says, and x is an element of the integers. This symbol, this uh, curved e, represents an element of. And then we list integers. Uh, for the integers, sometimes it also gets used as a letter, capital Z, with an extra little bar looking like that. So sometimes you'll see that notation being used, and you'll see that come up here again in the lesson. How about the set of positive even numbers in set builder notation? Well, we're going to start out with the set of all x such that, and then we're going to put a formula here. Okay? This represents positive numbers. When we take 2 times n, we're going to get a positive number, um, except we have to put an extra notation to make sure we get the positive even numbers. And so that's what's going to be behind this. And we're saying that n is an element of the natural numbers, which would start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or we would use the capital letter n with an extra little bar down here. And it looked like something like that. We can get as creative as we need to correctly list the set. And here are a few examples. Uh, the first example is actually kind of a quick one. All numbers greater than 5 would look like this. The set of all x such that x is greater than, oop, I have an error here. It should be greater than 5. Okay. The next set would be to try to list 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, which is in roster notation, to try to put that into set builder. I'm going to look at a few examples here. The first one looks like this. The set of all x such that x is from 7 to 15, and x is odd. So that would take care of that particular set of values. Or we could say the set of all x such that x equals 2n plus 5, and n is an element of the natural numbers. Okay, How do we get that set if we put n equals 1, which is the first natural number, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 5 gives us 7. Put in the second natural number, 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 5 gives us 9, and so on. We would need to specify where to stop. And in this case, we should add an extra item between, actually we should say from 1, 2, and we had a total number of 1, 2, 3, 4, five numbers in our set, so we'll go from one to five. And now we would be okay generating that specific set of five numbers, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. Each piece is needed in that particular case. Okay. Furthermore, we could uh, expand it to a whole numbers instead of the natural numbers. So for instance, the set of all x such that x equals 2n plus 7 and n is an element of the whole numbers from 0 to, in this case, we're going to have to put in 4. Okay. So as we can see, this particular set has many different ways that we could list in set builder notation. You just need to pick one that is uh, appropriate and works to generate the exact list that you're looking for.